Hi, my name is Ruth. I am a public health nurse with Horizon Health Network in the Fredericton Public Health Office. I work with a wonderful team of nurses here and collaborate closely with my communicable disease nurse um, colleagues in Miramichi and St. John as part of Horizon and collaborate often and on an ongoing basis with my colleagues doing the same work in Vitalite. So during any outbreak, we begin when we have a confirmed case and we manage the case and then we enlarge that investigation to include contacts and we have to often find the contacts which is um, kind of part of what contact tracing entails and then we consider communications and control measures, immediate control measures and control measures that would need to be put in place. So contact tracing is basically talking to the case and asking where have you been, whom have you been with, who do you live with, who do you work with, who do you play with as far as recreation would go, as far as what they do outside of work and school. And we would look back with respect to COVID-19 for two days prior to symptom onset. I do believe contact tracing is important and cornerstone to preventing transmission of illness, particularly with COVID-19. It's time sensitive. It's important that we identify who contacts would be and give contacts, um, engage them and give them uh, opportunity to share in responsibility to self-isolate and to take measures to protect their own health and to protect the health of loved ones around them. It is their opportunity to step aside and to make sure this is not passed from them to any other additional persons. The hope is that if that person is followed for 14 days at any point if they develop symptoms, that they have been self-isolating and the only contacts that they would have are the people that are in their immediate household. So that's the ideal and it is a win-win for everyone if we can prevent transmission.